In the last week, Apple and Amazon have sacked, have spiked, have tackled the NFL. But we want to focus on one number. One number. The number seven. Okay, Yetis, it's not a weekend unless you go into the weekend with a stat. Like, you got to have a good stat. You ready for this weekend stat? Hit me with a good stat. What do we got, Jack? Of the top 100 television programs last year, 75 of them were NFL games. Okay, three out of four of the top five most watched TV programs were football. That is domination. And that is why Amazon is paying a billion dollars a year to host Thursday Night Football. And that is why Jack and I did a story previewing the first ever NFL game exclusively streaming on Amazon last week. So Yetis want to know, how did Amazon do in their big debut? Well, besties, we just got the numbers back from Bezos. And Mr. Bezos stood up, sat down, and stood back down again. Amazon shocked itself. It did. In the first Thursday Night Football that they streamed exclusively, they got 13 million viewers. All right, sprinkle on a little context. That is 50% more viewers than the same game last year. And now, Jack, that's great for the NFL. But why is that better for Amazon? A record number of people signed up for Amazon Prime to watch the game. Uh, get this. More humans signed up for Amazon Prime than during any other three-hour period in Amazon's history. Yeah, that's right. A lot of uncles demanded their niece and nephew show them how to watch this damn game on the dang internet. It's making me reset password. <laughs> I already put in my password. Like we said, Yetis, that is why live sports have always been the holy grail of streaming video. Nothing but live NFL and the silky smooth voice of Al Michaels could drive signups for Amazon Prime. I do love Al Michaels' voice. But funny timing, Yetis, because that wasn't the only big tech thing going on with football. Big tech is gang tackling the NFL right now. On Friday, just before the weekend, the NFL announced the brand new sponsor for this year's Super Bowl halftime show is going to be Apple. It's Apple. Apple's the sponsor. It's not Pepsi. It's not Budweiser. It's not Little Caesars, Papa Domino's, John either, Jack. <laughs> it's Apple. Apple Music got the Super Bowl halftime gig that we're going to see in February. Yeah, Puff Daddy's going to be dropping beats via FaceTime this year. Bruno Mars is going to Shazam himself on stage with an iPad. It sounds vaguely inappropriate, <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. Stevie Nicks. She's going to wear AirPods and make those her microphone. Now, the real goal here isn't Apple to, like, play music in the halftime show. They've got a different motive, right, Jack? Apple's sites are set on NFL Sunday ticket. Okay, so Apple just dropped $50 million to be the sponsor of this year's Super Bowl halftime show. But experts expect that any day now, it's going to be announced that Apple's paying $2.5 billion a year to take over the lucrative NFL Sunday ticket deal. That would mean Apple taking over basically every single Sunday NFL game. It's on DirecTV now, but that's a lame duck. It's coming to big tech. Apple is pulling a drone Bettis here. It's following Amazon's block through the hole. So, Jack, what's the takeaway for all our buddies tossing the old pigskin? The most important stat from Thursday night's game the number seven. Seven. S-E-V-E-N. Seven. The number seven as in seven years younger. The average age of Amazon's Thursday Night Football viewer was 46 years old. Yeah. That is seven years younger than the average viewer of a typical NFL game. Now, here's why Jack and I love that number. If the NFL has any weakness right now, it's that Gen Z doesn't care about touchdowns. Yeah, that's the goal of the NFL. It's not trying to reach a bigger audience. Right. They're trying to reach a younger audience. So the NFL is big tech's ticket to taking over media. But big tech streaming is the NFL's ticket to a younger fan base. And that is why the number seven is the most important stat from Amazon's NFL debut. Thanks for T-boying with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for Pop Biz every day.